Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to your all standing abs and arms workout. I'll be using a set of four pound hand weights today. Anything one pound to five pound range would be great. Also have a chair handy towards the end of the workout for a stability move and to use it for a little balance for stretching as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We have a very short warm up. Again, all standing, working the upper body and the abs. So let's start with some big arm circles all the way up and back. Check that posture, shoulders down and back. Core is gonna be engaged throughout this entire workout. Two more to the back. Let's reverse it, big circles to the front. Give me four, three, two, one more time to the back. Four, three, two, and one. Right arm goes up, reach it nice and high. Big side bend all the way to the side. And release. Again, reach it up, bend it over, and release. Reach up. You have a little bend in your knees, just protecting those joints. Keep that in mind throughout the workout. And one more time each side. Big reach up, inhale. Exhale, release last time. Inhale up, side bend. Exhale down, both arms come up. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fingertips behind the head. And then I want you to tuck your chin and we're gonna nice and slow roll it down. Little bend in those knees, feeling a stretch in the lower back. Pull the tummy in, let's roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let's do that again. Tuck the chin, roll it down. Keep the elbows nice and wide, tummy in. We roll it up one more time. Tummy in, round the back, roll, roll, roll. All the way up. Excellent, let's take our fingertips together, elbows out to the side. Twist, come back to center. Twist, come back to center. Again, little bend in those knees. Rotating that spine. Belly button is gonna stay pulled in and up the whole time, but we need to make sure that we're breathing as well. Four more here. Last two. Last one, release it down. Like I said, that was a short warm up. Grab your weights. Standing with the feet directly underneath our hips. We're gonna have a hammer hold so the palms are facing in. Little bend in the knees, teeny little bend in the elbows and just lift those straight up and come straight back down. Keep those shoulders down and back and try to keep the whole body still so that core is engaged. Just using those arms, no momentum here. You got it. Give me four more here. Lift from those shoulders. You might feel it underneath the arms as well. Excellent, palms up, bicep curl just coming up halfway. So to the forearms are parallel to the floor and release it down. Little lift, little lower. Just turning to the side so you can see. Halfway up, all the way down, halfway up. Check that stance. I'm gonna say it again, a little bend in the knees and pull in the tummy. These are lighter weights, so use your own resistance as well. Squeeze the bicep. Two more. Now let's take it all the way up, halfway down. Squeeze halfway down. Lift, halfway down for five. Final three, two, last one. Here we go, all the way down, all the way up. Squeeze and release. The rest of the body is still. Core is keeping us standing up nice and tall. Biceps are working, almost there. For four, three, two, 
and one, going directly into a tricep kickback. I'll turn to the side, lift those elbows nice and high, shoulders down and back, lift the weights behind us, and then come back to the waist or the hips. Lift and down. Shoulders down and back. Don't let them creep up here. And the elbows stay nice and high, palms are facing each other. Squeeze the back of the arm, release. For five, four, is your tummy in? Three, two, and one. Release it down. I want you to press your weights together here. Again, a little bend of the knees, tummy in, and then we're gonna take a little baby twist, double to the side and come back to the center. Twist and twist. Push those weights together. Nice rotation in that torso. Belly button is pulled in. So we're not using the shoulders to turn to the side, we're using our core. Think about turning from the waist. Little pulse, little pulse, back to center. Twist, twist, back to center. Shoulders down. A few more here. Little twist, twist, and center. Twist, twist, one more each side. Your core should be getting nice and warm by now. Release it down. Same thing with those biceps, but this time we are gonna externally rotate them to the side, starting in the lower position, halfway up, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. That rotation comes from the shoulders as well. All the way out to the side, palms are towards the ceiling. You got it, a few more here. For two, last one, take it all the way up, halfway down, squeeze and lower, squeeze. All the way up, halfway down. Give me four, three, then you know it's coming, full range of motion. Here we go. All the way down, all the way up. Lower and squeeze. Take a break if you need to, shake it out. Keep breathing. Keep that rotation to the side. We naturally wanna bring them back to center. Don't let it. We've got three. Stay with me for two. Last one, going back to the triceps. This time the palms are flipped up to the ceiling. Hinge slightly forward, tummy in, straighten the elbows and lift here and then lower. Lift and lower. Stretch the hands long, straighten the elbows. So you're gonna feel this in the back of the shoulders and all the way in the back of the arm for those triceps. Think about trying to high five the ceiling. Reach, release, reach, release. Only three more. For two. Last one. Going into some punches here. Feet again underneath those hips. Lift both of the weights up. And just punching to the left, we turn palm down and bring it back. We've got a rotation again in our core. So punch, bring it back. Rotate. To the corner. Palm down when you punch, bring it back. Working a lot of things at once here. Two more. Right side, here we go. Punch it, bring it back. Suck that belly button in and make sure your butt's not sticking out to the back, almost like a little pelvic Tilt to keep that core engaged. Twist. Three, two, one. Now let's alternate one to each side. Punch it, bring it back. How about four more? Three, two, and one. Release it down. 
We're gonna do some rows next. Again, I'll turn to the side. Feet staying underneath those hips, bend the knees, hinging over. Tummy pulls in, lift the weights up to that waistline and then push them down. So lift, release. Elbows stay nice and high. Squeezing, this is a great one for our posture and our upper back. Lift, release. Four more like this. Three, two, and then we're gonna alternate doing one at a time. So drop one weight and then switch. One comes down as the other comes up. Is your belly button still pulled into the spine? Switch and switch. Get that elbow nice and high. Give me four, three, elbows back, two, and one. One more set of those tricep kickbacks. Extend, release, extend, release. I know your shoulders are getting tired. It's an isometric hold on those shoulders. Relax them down. You're just gazing a couple feet in front of your own feet, keeping the neck in line with the spine. All right, same thing, let's alternate. So one arm comes up and switch, switch and switch. See if you can get them a little bit higher. We're almost there. Breathe, give me five and switch. Four, switch. Three, two, and one. And release it down, roll those shoulders back. Maybe shake out the neck, release all that tension. Option here for one or two weights. I'm gonna keep both of my weights pressed together. Bend in those knees again. And we're gonna take our weights and almost kind of throw them over our shoulder. So they're pressed together. We're engaging the chest and we lift up and over and come back to center. Same side, up and over. So little twist again in that core. Throwing something over our shoulder. Drop one weight if you need to. We only have one set of these. After this, we just go to the other side. Two more. Nice job, other side. Up and over. Breathing. After this, we've got a few more moves. We're just gonna be using one weight Keep your dumbbells pressed together here. That way we're keeping all those muscles activated over the shoulder. We've got three, two, and one. Nice job. Drop one weight. I'm gonna hold on to the ends of my other one. And let's go kayaking. Bend the knees, reach the weight out towards me and we're gonna swoop to the side, up and over, and swoop to the side. Or you can think of making a big figure eight. So again, nice rotation, twisting that core, belly button's pulled in, still working the arms. As we paddle here, up and over, up and over. Keep breathing. I know those shoulders are screaming at you. Give me three. Last two. Last one. Beautiful job. I'm gonna come to my chair here for a little support. Okay, this one we're gonna use our brains too, guys. What we're gonna do is lift our knee and our bicep here, lift our knee and arm at the same time. We're gonna take our knee and twist it in and as our arm comes out for a nice rotator cuff elbow in close to the body we switch arm comes in knee comes out we come back to center and lower down so we left twist switch center and down if that's too much you can always just do the hands and 
the knee the same direction. But this way we really get a nice crunch, a nice twist in the abdominals. Center and down, good. We lift, knee in, knee out, center and down. Or you could always just drop the weight. So think about using those lower abdominals to move that leg. Left, in, out, center, and down. We've got one more. Left, center, and down. Nice job, that's a tricky one. Lifting our weight up to the ceiling and extend your right leg out to the side. We're gonna bring our elbow towards that knee with a little side crunch and then lift and press up the weight. So we crunch, lift it up, crunch and lift. Use the side of that waist to bring the knee towards the elbow. Press it up. We're almost done you guys. Lift. Two more here. Excellent job. Bring the weight into both hands at the chest. We're gonna lean back as we extend that right leg back towards the front and lean back and then come back to center. Same side. Right toe taps forward, we lean back and center. Using our core here. So we're staying in a nice straight line. If your core is engaged, we're working the abdominals and not the lower back. So pull that belly button in. Give me three, two, last one. Nice job. I'm gonna move my chair to the other side so we can do those three moves, our last three moves, all on the other side. All right, starting with our tricky twist. We lift both up, arm comes out, knee crosses the midline. We switch it back to center and down. Lift, in, out, center, and down. Again, using the lower abdominals, try not to use the hip flexor. If we're engaged correctly, we'll use the abdominals to help with that leg. Center and down. Lift. Center and down. Again, you can always just do one or the other. I like to keep you guys challenged, to keep you guessing. So we're never bored here. Center, we've got two more. Lift. Center and down. Nice job. Press that arm up. Extend the left leg out to the side. Bring the elbow towards the knee. It's okay if they don't touch. And then press it back up. Squeeze. And reach. A little crunch. Lift. Crunch. And lift. Exhale. Inhale. If you're feeling it in that standing leg, that's normal. Doing a lot of support work here. We've got three, two, last one, press it up. And our last move before we stretch it out, weight to the chest in both hands, extend the left toe forward as we lean back and then come back to center. Really suck that navel in, lean back. Lean back. This is a great one for our balance as well. A few more. You got this. Think about drawing the ribs and the hip bones together. Last one. And release it down. 
Let's stretch our hip flexors. Nice big step back with the leg, bend forward with a little lunge, pressing the heel towards the floor, and then think about doing a pelvic tilt here. So not sticking the butt out, but roll those hips forward to feel a beautiful stretch. Lift the arm up, big inhale. Exhale, lean over the opposite shoulder. Release it down. Let's do the other side. Big step back. Lunge forward. Straighten that back leg. And again, tilt the pelvis forward feel, so you feel a stretch in front of that hip. Arm comes up. Reach it nice and high. And then big side stretch over the shoulder. Oh, that feels good to release that. Arm comes down. Let's face the center again. Right arm comes up, reach it nice and high. And then bend the elbow, trying to reach behind your back. Elbow is pointed towards the ceiling. And then a little lean over to the side again. Come back up, straighten the arm, release it out to the side. Gently pull it back, feeling a beautiful stretch here in your chest. And then the opposite, hug it forward. Drop the shoulder down. Big inhale. And exhale. Release that arm down. Other arm comes up. Reach it nice and high. Bend the elbow. Fingers coming down the back. Elbow towards the ceiling. Holding it here. Side stretch over. Good. Release it back out to the side. Pull the arm gently back. Feeling a stretch in front of that shoulder. And then pull it back in front, either above or below your elbow joint. Inhale. Exhale, relax that shoulder down. Good job, relax the arms. Reach them forward towards me, flex the palms, straighten the elbows, and give me some wrist circles to the outside right here. Release any tension from those weights. And let's reverse it. Good. Lace the fingertips together. Press them out towards me. Little bend in the knees. Tummy's pulled in. Little reach over to the side. And the other side. Back to center. And then I want you to straighten those legs. Shift the hips back. Reach, reach, reach towards me. Release the hands, forward fold, and bend the knees, tummy in, and round that back up one vertebrae at a time. Big shoulder circles here. Give me four, three, two, and one. Big inhale, arms come up. Exhale, take them down, fingers behind your head, elbows nice and wide. Hinging at the hips again, we're gonna roll forward. Just a nice little roll down here. Soft bend in the knees, tummy in, and let's roll it up. So good, two more times. Drop the chin, roll it down nice and slow. And roll it up. Last time, keep the elbows nice and wide. All the way down. Tummy in, roll it up, hold it here, a little lean back, stretch for those abdominals, come back to center, down, big inhale up, and exhale down. I hope you feel amazing, strong, works really important muscles. Thanks for joining me today. Please give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And also wanted to give a quick shout out to my cute jacket. Thank you to any age active wear. I also feature their clothes in my last bar video. I will put the link to their website in the description below and senior shape viewers get 15% off an item. So check that out. Thanks. And we'll see you next time.